In 2008 and 9, the world's economic system was crashed, brought down by a serious market failure in the financial sector, caused by bankers and politicians. Workers across Europe were hit hard, jobs lost, savings depleted, public confidence shaken. Economic growth dropped almost 10%, deficits went up. Policymakers, bankers and business told us that Europe needed to be more competitive. Their fix for the economy was austerity and a brutal squeeze on workers' wages. Worker pay, which had been increasing 3 or 4% a year, plunged. Across Europe, collective bargaining, trade unions and other protections were weakened. Eight years later, corporate profits and senior management pay have strongly recovered, but most workers have not. Income inequality ratios are increasing and workers' share of wealth is shrinking. After eight years, it's time for our recovery. Europe needs a pay rise. But many of the same people who caused the crash keep telling policymakers and the public that raising pay would send us back into recession. Many ordinary Europeans believe a pay rise will kill jobs. Is it true? Actually, the opposite is true. Many economists and even some business leaders have realized that if workers have more money to spend, economies will grow and create jobs. We've all heard of trickle-down economics, the idea that increased wealth at the top somehow benefits everyone else. It doesn't work. A pay rise for European workers will percolate up through the economy, the way a plant draws water from its roots. Here's how it might work in real life. Meet Alex. He's a cleaner in a small factory. Through his union, he just got a pay rise. Alex has more money in his pocket, and now every Friday, he stops in at Anna's bakery to buy something sweet for his family. Business picks up at Anna's. She's confident enough that she decides it's time for a new bike. At Bruno and Paola's small bicycle factory and store, trade is brisk. They're even getting orders from outside the country. They add a second shift to keep up with the demand. There are many paths to Europe's pay rise. Strong collective bargaining, closing the pay gap between men and women, pushing back on zero-hour contracts and precarious work, increasing minimum wages, and working to push up wages throughout companies and the supply chain. We're going to carry this message to European policymakers and employers, and online, in the media, and in our workplaces. You can find out more about the campaign and how you can get involved at www.payrise.eu. Europe needs a pay rise. It's time for our recovery.